On one hand, there is all the negative press which happens about life science sector by some so-called influencers on the internet. On the other hand, I keep seeing biotech industry growing by manifold. So the question to be asked today is, let's do a reality check. Is life science degree worth the money and the investment of time for all of you? Is it going to be worth in the future? What is the truth? What is the reality check that we are going to do in this video? Now, first things first, if you have less time, let me start by telling you that life science is never going to be a mass employment generator unless you have an IT component into it. So if you are someone who wants to quickly get a job, hardcore biotech research may not be for you. Bio IT can be for you. Now, once I have answered that question, let's jump on to the question. The real question we are asking in this video is, are biotech degrees worth it? And if yes, then for how much? On an average, we do, did a survey and we found out that the Biotech degrees in Bangalore or any of the metro cities is ranging in between 5 lakhs to 15 lakh rupees as a degree, the entire expenditure. So you may have to shell out somewhere around minimum 5 lakh, maximum 15 lakhs if you're going for a biotech degree or a life science degree in these mega cities. But then the question is, is it really worth it? Are we really going to get jobs which will help us get the return over our, our investment and time? So this video is going to answer that. Now, first things first, all the hubris, all this noise which you listen on the internet by people who say that they did not get a job is because once they get a job, they never come back and they will say, hey, I got a job. Because there are very less people who are busy in their job and have time to really come back on internet and wipe out all those comments where they wrote all the negative things. Internet is mostly a negative place because free people who are jobless will come and say there is no job. But the truth is, I'm telling you this, just to give you a glimpse of it, there are three big clusters, I think four big clusters just in Bangalore. One cluster is Bangalore Bio Innovation Center, more than 120 plus companies are hosted there. Then you have CCAMP, more than 500 biotech companies are hosted there. Then you have a, the iBiome where more than 200 companies are hosted. And then you have the mega biotech and pharma companies like Biocons and Gene. And when we add all of this, more than 800 biotech startups are there just in Bangalore. So it is not that biotech uh, has less scope or there are no companies in our country or Bangalore. But the truth is, they are not mass employment generator. Like they cannot give employment to 1 lakh people per year, just like how Infosys, Wipro and Accenture gives. But the moment you have a bio-IT component, yes, that's, that's possible. But will this change in the future? Well, that we should talk about. Now, 15 lakhs if you have spent on a biotech degree, and if you're expecting to take a return over your investment in the first year itself, not possible. Nowhere it is possible. But yes, over a period of time, like five years, you would have definitely take, taken out at least five times of that money as it turns. Now, how do you take that? Let's find out. The first thing is biotechnology per se as a field itself is growing. Right now it is at $80 billion. It is slated to go to $200 billion in India. In US it is $676 billion. It is slated to go to $2,000 billion dollars that is two um, so that's uh, two trillion dollars uh, industry if you combine pharma then it goes to 10 trillion dollars the question to be asked is is this industry growing answer is yes is it going to generate employment yes will it employ everybody no it will employ only those who are specialized for that particular job right now anybody who is trying to get into biotech research should remember that biotech is a business and there can be situations where you are getting into research and then your company demands you to get into business development side also because they are startups, they have lack of resources, they may ask you that also. So be ready for that. Followed by that, now biomedical research is booming right now. Biomedical engineering, if you see these Apple watches, these handheld watches which you can wear and you, your fitness, your vitals are being monitored. You see those pacemakers and all those 
um, chip based uh, med medical devices which can be impl implanted into the body and it can do some so lot of things and monitor our vitals or uh, manipulate our vitals. Then you have the Elon Musk Neuralink wherein you put a chip and now a person who could not speak or a paralyzed person or a person in coma can interact with the computer and do stuff, right? So yes, that is where biomedical engineering is going to be a big employment generator. So biotechnology per se, the field will combine biotechnology and bi biology and technology to develop new products and processes such as genetically modified crops, biofuels and pharmaceuticals. And then you have the second biomedical engineering which is booming. The third one which I already told you is bioinformatics or bio IT. Now bio IT is going to be a mass employment generator wherein there, there is no uh, initial cost to the company. They just need a laptop and some software subscriptions and then you are good to go. So that is where, yes, a lot of companies are springing up every day in India as well as in US, in uh, Europe. And that is where you can play a crucial role because a lot of genomics data is available today, which can be sampled out, which can be analyzed, which can lead to a lot of conclusions in the disease modeling space also. Followed with that now is environmental science. So now my question to you is, have you heard that news? I'm sitting in the, in the same city where uh, water is not coming. Right. So in just in our building, the water was not there for continuous seven days. Right. Same way, the water scarcity, the global warming. Right. Bangalore used to be a garden city. Today it is uh, at 37 degrees centigrade with no rains. Correct. And that if you just go to Delhi or if you just go to any North Indian uh, city, you will see it happening. What's the answer to that? The engineers, the IT engineers cannot solve it. The BT engineers can solve it. Environmental impact as a world, as the world will grapple through this greenhouse gases and climate change and these environmental challenges, our professionals in the biotech industry with their expertise will be able to solve it, will be able to find out solutions, sustainable solutions for the world. And that is where you can play a role and that is why this degree definitely is worth. So, so far I have told you biotechnology and uh, gene editing, agriculture and biopharmaceuticals. Then I told you about um, biomedical engineering. Then I told you about bioinformatics. And then I told you about environmental impact. The next thing which I wanted to talk about is public health. Now you all must have heard of the COVID pandemic. You all have must have passed through the COVID pandemic unless you are watching this video 20 years later. But definitely for now, you must have uh, experienced the COVID pandemic. Now, do you know which is the next pandemic? The next pandemic is already happening and that is called as antimicrobial resistance. Now you pop in a pill, an antibiotic, but there's no effect. The bacteria is, well, resistant. Now if the bacteria is resistant, can you really treat the infection? You cannot. And that is why reckless use of antibiotics and a slow pace of discovery of new antibiotics is, and of course the bacteria mutating every day is leading to a situation where now it is going to be the next pandemic which is already happening and that's called antimicrobial resistance AMR. So that we call it as public health and safety. Now sadly humans remember biotech only when there is a disaster. For example during the COVID period only people respected biotech and said yes 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 biotech is here to stay but otherwise nobody is caring about biotech. But over a period of time and the experts and the government and the companies have realized that biotech has a sincere role and a very important role to play in our society. And that is where public health and safety epidemiology is going to be the next big chapter in your uh, biotech career. So if you are a biotech scientist or a biotech student who is planning to get into research or any part of the biotech industry, let me summarize quickly that if you are a specialist of whatever you do, if you're the best, you'll be hired. You'll be paid the best. And what will be that salary range? If you are a PhD, it ranges in between 1 lakh to 12 lakh rupees per annum minimum salary, which I'm talking about in Bangalore right now per month. So that's the pay scale of a PhD. Now, what I'm trying to tell you here is, if you are reading a lot of negative comment, your algorithm of Twitter or uh, LinkedIn or YouTube will be full of more negative comments. So what will happen is you will realize that you will actually conclude that there is no job in biotech. But my question to you is, have you tried? My question to you is, have you tried enough? My question to you is, have you tried with strategy? 
And my question to you is, if you failed after applying the strategy, did you change the strategy? Did you reach out to a mentor? Did you take career guidance sessions with me? If the answer is yes, then you're definitely going to get a job. The question to be asked is, have we done enough as a biotech professional to find our first job or next job? If the answer is yes, definitely. But let's stop saying that the biotech sector is not going to generate employment. It is only for the specialist. And if you are looking for a random job, go for bio IT. The jobs will be easier to get there. Bioinformatics, computational biology, AI and machine learning, all this, if you can learn coding for biology, then you can definitely get jobs into bio IT companies. Now, last point now is which are the colleges providing placement in these companies my answer to you is one percent colleges are able to provide placements because they're really interested most of the startups whom i interact with they don't go for placement campus placement because anyways you people will apply so they come to biotechnica or uh, you know linkedin and they will post their vacancies and people apply right so and how they shortlist is the first 50 or first 100 candidates who apply, they will get it. So if you are thinking that you have to get your next job, think this way that these companies exist and they are here to hire you, but you have to reach out to them. You have to remember that they won't come to you. You have to go to them. And then once you have gotten, you have started working, you have to work your, uh, you have to do your job sincerely and definitely it is going to pay back in terms of rewards and recognition. So with these uh, thoughts, I would like to depart. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments or any thoughts, put them down in the comment section. And yes, the biotech sector is here to stay. Your biotech degree is going to be worth more than what you think of. Thank you. Take care. Bye.